Hi everyone! Today we're making a popular dish from Singapore and Malaysia. We're making Malaysian sambal chicken. Now sambal refers to the thick paste or sauce that is made primarily of grinding fresh and dried red chilies along with other fresh ingredients um, and this ground paste is fried in oil. That's the base for the gravy of this uh, sambal chicken. Uh, it's very delicious served with white rice or ghee rice it's basically a spicy dish it can be as spicy as you like it but it also has sweet notes as well as sour notes to it so let's get started so we start off by marinating our chicken we have one kilogram of chicken that's been rinsed and drained there's no water here uh, it's skinless to this we add one teaspoon of chili powder one teaspoon of turmeric powder half a teaspoon of black pepper powder and a tablespoon of lime juice we also add two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste that's equal proportions of ginger and garlic that has been ground to a fresh paste and we're going to set this aside for at least 30 minutes up to three hours now the next step is we need to rehydrate our dried red chilies Now these are my dried red chilies. I boil them in water for 10 minutes in the saucepan and then I left them covered in the hot water for 30 minutes so to soak them really well. So the ingredients for the sambal are shallots. We need 8 to 10 shallots, 8 large cloves of garlic, and we're going to add our rehydrated dried chilies here that were soaked earlier. Um, about 8 of these dried red chilies. We're not adding the water, just the soaked chilies. And we also need the fresh red chilies. We're using these long fresh red chilies, two to three. I'm using three here in this recipe. Um, these chilies are mild in heat. They're not very spicy. And they're very common in Singapore and Malaysia. So we're adding this all to a small grinder. We're also going to add one plump fresh tomato. Grind this to a super fine paste. We didn't add any water. The liquid from the rehydrated chilies and tomatoes is enough to grind this to a nice smooth paste, like this. So here I have a half a cup of oil I'm using sunflower oil and we're going to fry our marinated chicken till it's light golden. I'm just frying it in one batch in a large wok here. We added half a cup of oil and this oil will be reused to fry the sambal paste. You do want to fry the chicken till it's golden on both sides, but you don't want to fry it too because it will cook again in the sauce. Now to the remaining oil in the pan, we're going to add one onion that has been chopped. We're using red onion. Now the sambal chicken does require a fair amount of oil. You can remove some of the oil from the pan before you fry your um, sambal paste, but it does require a fair amount of oil to cook properly because it cooks for quite some time on a low heat and if you have less oil there are chances of the sambal paste getting burnt. To this we're going to add whole spices, 6 cardamoms, that's green cardamom, 5 cloves, 1 or 2 sticks of cinnamon, 2 segments of star anise. You can use up to a whole um, spice of star anise. We're also going to add 3 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. That's, again, that's equal quantities of ginger and garlic that has been ground to a fresh paste. Now we're just going to saute this till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic is gone. And then we're going to add another half of a tomato that's been chopped. Once the tomatoes are softened, we can add the sambal paste. Add all the paste that we prepared. Give that a good stir.
I'm also adding a little bit of water to that grinder so that, that I don't lose any of that paste. I just rinsed out the grinder and poured that in as well. Now we're going to cook this slow and low on a low to medium heat for 20 minutes. Stir occasionally and after 10 minutes you can see the paste has thickened. I stir it every 3 or 4 minutes. And now this is why we needed that amount of oil. If we had very little oil, this paste um, would most likely be scorched and have a burnt flavor. And after 20 minutes, this is what our paste looks like. Now we can add some sauces. We're going to add tomato ketchup, 3 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. So I added 2 tablespoons first. Always add a little bit first and then you can add more later. As well as 2 tablespoons of hot and sweet chili sauce. I'm using Thai hot and sweet chili sauce here. Give this a taste and adjust the sauces. So I added one more, that's the third tablespoon of ketchup. So it's three tablespoons of tomato ketchup as well as two tablespoons of the sweet and hot sauce. Now we can return our fried chicken Just toss this in this sambal sauce well till all the pieces are coated. After cooking in the sauce briefly, we can add half a cup of water. Stir this well. Once it comes to a boil, we can lower the heat. I also added two kaffir lime leaves. Um, or you can use regular lime leaves as well. Just two leaves that have been torn. I added them to the sambal at this point. And now we're going to cook this on a low heat for 10 more minutes. So now our sambal chicken is ready. You can see this is the amount of gravy that is left. It's perfect for serving with white rice or ghee rice um, and some versions of sambal chicken also add a little bit of coconut milk towards the end as, as well, well as, as a stalk of lemongrass along with the lime leaves um, so that's optional your delicious uh, spicy and slightly sweet and sour sambal chicken Singapore and Malaysia style is ready. We hope you give this recipe a try. If you like the recipe, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Um, lots more recipes coming. Enjoy the quick. Hope you enjoy the video recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye.